Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. Uh, it's good to be with you. Uh, we had uh, a Bible study at Piccadilly Gardens Community Church, and um, it was not recorded live, so I'm going to put it here for you, the first part of that study. Uh, so I hope it's going to be a blessing to you. Uh, let's come before the Lord. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day and for your goodness and love. And Father, we pray in the name of of our Lord Jesus Christ that you bless all of us today and especially those who have come to hear your word today. Amen. Don't forget you can come to uh, Piccadilly, Piccadilly Gardens Community Church on Friday night 7.30pm uh, also on a Sunday morning 11am and 3.30pm uh, okay and if you want to know details uh, you can Skype me at jason.burns107 or uh, you can find my mobile uh, phone number underneath the um, the doctrinal statement of uh, Piccadilly Gardens Community Church on my uh, channel uh, Piccadilly Church or our channel Piccadilly Church. So if you turn to James chapter one verse one, James chapter one verse one. It says, James, we're going to be going through over the next few weeks the, the whole book of James. So it says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance, and perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen. Um, just a few things. It was written by James. It says, James. Who's James? Well, James was the Lord's brother. There were three James in the early church, but we believe that when it says, James, a servant of God, and to the Lord Jesus Christ, that it's referring to the James as the Lord's brother. James the Lord's brother was known as Camel Knees, tradition has it, because he spent so much time on his knees praying. And he was martyred, thrown off a temple. If you want to know why James is important in the church, if you turn to Acts chapter 15, Acts chapter 15, verse 13, it says, when they finished, James spoke up, Brothers, listen to me. So in a doctrinal controversy, uh, James the Lord's brother was significant uh, in speaking out on issues because he was seen as the head of the church in Jerusalem, the Jerusalem church. Not the whole church because you had the twelve apostles, but James was seen as some, a, a leader in the Jerusalem church. Uh, if you turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 7 James didn't believe in his brother the Lord Jesus Christ until after the resurrection if you turn to James at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 7 we read then he appeared to James then to all the apostles so James believed in the Lord Jesus Christ when the apostle uh, when he saw the rising of his brother Jesus Christ. Now it's interesting to note that James is mentioned by uh, Josephus, a Jewish historian who lived uh, in the sort of mid to the end of the first century. So we know that James the Lord's brother is not a mythological figure but a real historical figure. Now what lesson do we learn by just thinking about James the Lord's brother well James a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ you see James even though he was not one of the twelve apostles he was still a major leader within the church and there's a lesson there you don't have to be a, 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 a pastor or an elder in your church you can have a major influence and be a major leader by living your example in, in the way you conduct yourself. You can lead your family, you can lead your workplace, you can lead in your church by being a man of God and, or a woman of God 
and being faithful in what God has called you to do. Isn't that amazing? And, um, you know, we need leaders today. The church desperately needs leaders that are going to stand up and be counted and not give in to the pressure of the culture of the day. So that's our first part of our study. Uh, we're going to stop it here. And uh, I'm going to ask you, what do you think? What, what do you get from verse 1? James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, the twelve tribes scattered among the nations. Is there anything that speaks to you in that passage? Is there anything that, that uh, takes your eye? And don't, uh, you know, don't feel that you can't share something. Please share what you you think and what you studied on that passage. So we're going to go into more detail now in the next few video clips on on um, on the issue of suffering and trial. So thank you for listening and take care.